First thing you want to know is the surface area of an entire sphere. And remember, when you're talking about surface area, you're talking about that outer surface, you know, the area. If you were to cover this with little one by one square, you know, patches, right? How many would cover that outer surface? And the formula is four times pi times the radius squared. But then what we do with a hemisphere is we go ahead and we cut it in half, right? So now what happens when you go to cut this in half is this surface right here okay, is going to be 2 pi r squared because half of 4 pi r squared. But in the process of cutting it in half, we expose this bottom circle here. So when you're cutting it like in half like this, now if you were to pick this up, okay, and look at that part right there, you can see it's going to be a circle. And you, that's also now becoming the outer surface. We know the area of a circle is pi r squared, or you can think of it as 1 pi r squared. So if you add these together, a hemisphere, the surface area is actually 3 pi r squared. So sometimes students uh, mistakenly say 2 pi r squared. We want 3 pi r squared. So a quick example is if they give you the radius is 5, real simple, you just put that in for the radius. It's going to be 3 times pi times 5 squared. That's 25 times 3, which is 75 pi units squared. Whatever the units are, it's square units. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with hemispheres a little bit better. If you're interested in online tutoring with me, feel free to uh, contact me about that. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.